Last night, Tesla shocked the world by giving us something that Apple couldn't. Excitement! They not only introduced two brand new products, but they laid out a plan that if, if they could pull off, it would literally change all of our lives. And that is not even an exaggeration. What they announced would make parking lots disappear, would turn taxi drivers into taxi managers. And Elon said, and I quote, with these three products, people will soon live in an age of abundance, the likes of which we could have not even envisioned. So how the hell is Tesla gonna take us there? Well, they believe with the cyber taxi, the robo van, and the Optimus robot. So like the video if you want to see a future full of abundance and absent of ditty parties and let's get cracking. Okay, so last night for America, today for us in the UK, Tesla rented out the entire Warner Brothers studio in LA, all to introduce to us the cyber taxis, the robo van, and they even had Optimuses, up, up to my, uh, walking around and uh, among us, among us humans, and even serving people at the bar. I mean, if you haven't noticed yet, they are literally recreating the iRobot movie in real life, but apparently a good version, uh, you know, we all hope and pray. So they decided to call it the we robot event. <laughs> I mean, even if it's supposed to be the good version, you know, it'd be nice if like Will could just stay in shape for maybe like the next decade, just in case. But you see what I loved about this event is that Tesla didn't just release another old product. Like, goddamn. I mean, that's what we saw with Apple, right? The biggest tech company in the world just releasing another iPhone, pretty much the same as last year. But with Tesla's products, they were created to try and fundamentally change transport as we know it for the better. So let, let's go on this journey together, okay? Get your imagining caps on. <laughs> that's lame. Isn't there an imagining cap or is it a thinking cap? Whatever! Let's get our thinking caps on. Imagine owning a fully self-driving sub $30,000 car where when you are not using it, it could literally be out there making you money by giving other people lifts. Let me explain. I really love this idea so much. So Elon talks about how, you know, out of the 168 hours we have in a week, only 10 of those hours are people actually driving on average. Because for them to be used, you need a human and a human's time. But take away that human, and not only does suddenly everyone's car become useful in the 94% of the hours that it is unused throughout the week, but also you get those 10 hours back as well, because essentially you're stepping into the little comfy, you know, waiting room, essentially, <laughs> where you could now go the hell back to sleep and get those extra 30 minutes an hour and then and, and wake up rested at your destination or you could watch a movie, do work, anything else you can imagine. And Tesla believes that this individualized mass transit, love that phrase, would decrease transportation costs dramatically. In fact, he says that the cyber taxi will become 80% cheaper per mile then the freaking bus, 80%. Elon believes that, yeah, it seems crazy now, getting into a car with no steering wheel and no pedals, but he reckons that the same way that we now go into an elevator and we don't even think about, you know, it not being operated by a human like it used to be, it'll be the same, but this time for cars. Just think about this. Taxi drivers will go from taxi drivers to taxi managers, where they simply supervise a fleet of these things. And I mean, I guess thinking about it, like the main bit of resistance that I can imagine is like, you don't really want someone else in your car. I get that. But they say that they also will have these little stations where, you know, they are cleaned entirely by robots and they even have wireless charging. So it brings it back to you fully charged and spick and span. <laughs> they'll just drive in and while they're getting clean, they'll be stationed over this pad where it's just charging. So, you know, saves a bunch of time. And here's another really cool point that he made. You know, the scary factor of, you know, like getting in a car and it being driven by itself. You know, I can imagine that being a, a pretty big issue, right? But as data already shows, at least as of right now, self-driving cars are are safer than human driven cars. For example, Tesla's full self-driving beta vehicles uh, crashed 0.13 times per million miles on non-highway roads compared to 1.53 for human drivers. And human error is accounting for the vast majority of those collisions. And I mean, the reason that he gives for autonomous vehicles being safer currently, let's just put that disclaimer in there, is because these databases are collecting information from millions of these cars from all over the world, which are also experiencing millions of some of the wildest hazards. The average human, however, hasn't even encountered a tenth of what these tests 
wrestlers are experiencing and then learning from. Therefore, they would instantly know what to do in some of the craziest situations that the average human would have never encountered. And actually saying that makes me think there was definitely some movie where they made this remark about like robots. Like once one learns something, they all instantly know it. And that is like terrifyingly powerful. <laughs> Whereas, you know, like the smartest person in the world, Elon, if he learns something, you know, we would have to go through the process of trying to understand and learn what he's, no. If he's a robot, bang, we all know it. And that is a rapid evolution of intelligence that I don't even think we can comprehend. I mean, that's why AI is so terrifyingly potentially powerful. Now he lists as a consequence of all of these potentially beautiful and amazing things. Transport would be cheaper, cities would be cleaner, and Elon even said that we could take the ing lots out of parking lots and just turn them back into beautiful green parks. Now, along with these cyber taxis, they also unveiled the Robovan, which Elon called the Robovan because... <laughs> Of course, it's Elon. And to be fair, they didn't give us much detail on this thing, apart from that it'll be able to carry up to 20 people or just, you know, transport goods. And then that could even further lower the cost of transportation. And then finally, the third product, which I personally think has, the, you know, the biggest potential for um, going crazy and being really bad, is the optim optimesis. That's the f worst. Plural. Let's just decide this now. It's not optimuses, because that's corn casserole. Optimi. One optimus, many optimi. <laughs> Optimususes, whatever. Now at this event, he let them out of their cages to roam amongst the humans. And honestly, I'm not gonna lie, some of these interactions were kind of crazy. Like, they played paper, scissor, rock with someone. Um, that's pretty wild. Now as for the actual use case of these optimimimimis, um, <laughs> He said anything. The best way to think about it is like, imagine ChatGPT, if you ever used that, imagine ChatGPT with a body. Yeah, gets weird. He said that you could own your own uh, for about $20,000 or they are available to rent by the hour. It'll be able to uh, babysit your kids, which, oh God, I mean, it wouldn't be the first thing as someone who's creating this I would like to throw out there. Uh, you're really throwing us in the deep end there. Like we already think these things are pretty damn creepy, let alone, Raise our children for us. It could also do things like household chores, tidying up, making dinner, mowing the lawn, shopping for groceries, taking care of the elderly family members. Just generally any of the tasks that we humans don't really want to do. He believes that the Optimi will become so useful that like just how everyone owns a car, everyone will own a robot, AKA their own ethical slave. And because of that, he said it will become the biggest product ever of any kind. With Optimus, we're essentially creating our own ethical slaves that have no feelings. And because of that, Elon said, basically, anyone will be able to have any products or services that they want. It will be an age of abundance, the likes of which people have never envisioned. That is simultaneously exciting and terrifying. I don't even know how I feel about that. And look, I'm not going to stand here and ignore all of the counterpoints that people have, you know, fairly put out there, like Elon promising the world so many times things that haven't really come about yet. And also that these things are so ambitious that it simply will never happen. And like, fair enough, right? They, they have some valid points, but goddamn, off the back of what freaking Apple gave us, this was, ju it just felt so refreshing. It felt exciting again. It, you know, it gives us something cool to look forward to in the future. And yeah, Tesla has taken a bunch of risks and will probably almost certainly make a bunch of mistakes. But I, for one, as a customer, you know, that's the kind of products that I want to see someone at least trying to create. And I mean, it's worth remembering that Elon's the guy that brought us freaking Starlink. He's the one that made a rocket 30 times cheaper than NASA's space shuttle in 1981, and 11 times cheaper than the average launch cost for them. He brought us PayPal. He made Tesla, which fun fact, is actually the only electric car company in the world that's profitable. That, that is a wild little rabbit hole to go down to, but I urge you to go down to it because it is mind blowing. But point is, I think that we look on the bright side here and, and encourage innovation rather than just criticize it out of existence. Now he says that the cyber taxis will go into production before 2027. As for the Optimi, uh, not really sure. So, I mean, I guess the ultimate question is, what do you think? Could Tesla actually pull all of this off or are they just making these promises that they cannot keep? Woo! Two vids! 
two days. I bet you didn't expect that. Huh? I don't want to see one late comment. I, in fact, I never want to see a late comment again for this week's performance. All right. Love you guys. I'll be back on Monday. Whip in hand for the news roundup. Rapid fire news. And I'll see you then. Love you. Bye. Oh, wait, 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 back again. Can't, can't ruin tradition. Love you. Bye.